Okay, so quick look at the evaluation on this game. These are blitz games, so they're the fast ones, uh, super blitz, uh, three minute and zero increment. So open as usual in this particular game and just pushing through with the pawn here, nice and steady, maybe looking to challenge the bishop this way. So too much of an issue at the moment. So let's see how far we go. So they did, they did push through the center, so that's then opening up a different kind of game for us. So we just want to get rid of any pawns in the center. Obviously they're going to come into, into the center, but they're a little bit weaker now because they're two linked pawns, but they don't have anything else majorly supporting. So I'm not gonna lose any sleep over that. Um, with these pawn maneuvers, they're lacking in development from their minor pieces on the back. So looking to try and take advantage of that as well. So we go and attack the bishop. Obviously, Gage Bar saying not happy with that, but my intentions are to try and get them disturbed, get them thinking about something so that we can win maybe some kind of tempo in the game. So they move the bishop, so we just take it off the board. So they've done something they didn't really plan on doing. And then they capture the knight. Again, the queen didn't plan to be in that position. So now we can just push the pawn up, making a little bit of space for our bishop if need be to come and challenge this pawn here. Um, and just basically get our queen maybe here, opening up the rook on this side here. So at this moment in time, potentially one, two kind of key tempi in, in development. Gage bar showing why it's winning at the moment, but in my head, I'm t two tempo up. So now they're developing their knight. So we bring the bishop through attacking the higher piece, which is the queen. And um, we did expect them to drop the pawn. So we quickly just brought the bishop back here. So this is a nice position now, I believe, for our bishop, because it's like managing these key squares. Bishop comes down, attacks the knight. So a simple pawn push onto. And then they capture and capture him. So again, feeling fairly comfortable with the position. And now they're pushing the smaller pieces onto the higher pieces. Makes sense, that's fine. So we can capture and it improves our position, I believe, because we can now attack the rook. He's looking to try and own the file. We just take the rook off the ball, keeping it simple, making space now for our rook to be eventually come here. The rook doesn't have any defense on it. So at this moment in time, we're doing something, making them think about something. So they have to move their rook back or bring their queen across to defend it or something. Don't think the queen could have defended it actually. Maybe could have put a pawn here, but would have taken the pawn. So now we can come and attack the, um, the rook. But at this point in time now, there's a bit of a gap here and I've got two minutes to think about the movement but I don't think I picked the right move but it was a good enough move for me we just wanted to put some double pressure onto this knight so I brought the queen across and queen d4 the computer is saying which is this one here is it yep okay so yes yeah, slightly better I suppose because then this pawn can't come and support Okay, so we went with the queen and then the pawn drops down. So it does give us this key square here to put a check on the king and also maintain a two on one on the knight. So that was quite nice. So the king has to move, then we capture it with tempo and we've actually got a minor piece up as well. At that point, the opponent resigned. So yep, yeah, that was a fairly neat game of um, kind of focus targeting and actually winning those key tempi, those, those key tempo moves, basically off of the back of doing something that the opponent has to think about reacting to, um, and then that helps to develop my own pieces or your your own pieces if you're looking at working that way.